One of my favorite moments so far was just below the Rakla. We heard a pack of wolves howling. At first I thought it was them stating their territory because we were leaving, but as soon as we got around the river bend, another wolf was howling to respond to the pack of wolves. Actually, it was the mountains that really got to me. Like, you know, that it's just like, every time I see, a, I see a new mountain, it's just like, it draws you to it sort of thing. The reason why I really wanted to come on this trip to see for myself. All these areas is where my family, my, um, my parents, my grandparents, and, and their friends from Northwest Territories used to travel back and forth. And I just thought that as I'm getting older, I just really wanted to say I walked the same path as them. They always tell stories about, you know, going down the river and up the river either by canoe or rafting and, you know, and different things like that. And, and um, they, they used to say about it takes a long, long time. So that kind of stayed in my head that, you know, like, how long does it take? So now I have an idea of what, what it was like. They spent their lifetime um, hunting and trapping, fishing. They would uh, travel uh, when, when the seasons change. They'd stop long enough in one camp to dry whatever fish they caught or their dry meat. And then they would pack up and go again. I really wanted to come on this trip because I knew my family, my ancestors, they traveled this river from the Northwest Territories and I just really wanted to see what they had to go through and where they came from and also just to see what's on my traditional territory. The trip so far it has been really challenging. We kind of got right into it to, with the late nights and really having to push ourselves. I've never done any trip like this before, so it was interesting to see how hard I can push myself and what I'm capable of doing. Another reason I wanted to come out on the trip was to see the land before it was touched, before any mining activity developed. It's kind of scary to think about because nobody knows what impact it's really going to have on the environment. Just seeing the impact of the beaver dams, how much it changes the, the water flow and the trees and the way the fish swim through the, the streams, it's kind of scary to think of what a big mining company can do because that's a lot bigger than just a little beaver dam. So now that we've traveled the Beaver River and we've seen some of these places that may be affected by the road, what do you think about the potential of a mining road being put in here? <laughs> no way. <laughs> I would say no. If you look around and you see all the streams coming through and whatever, it's like, it's, it's going to be bad. I mean, like, uh, you open a road and you never know what sort of chemicals would get into the water. Um, they always say the tailing ponds are uh, perfect and whatever, but I don't really think I ever seen a mine that's been, you know, true to their word because one way or another something does happen. That would really affect all the fish that's, you know, swimming around, the beavers, the birds, the moose, everything, grizzly bears, and pretty soon it's going to be all gone. To put a road in it, it's, um, I would say, you know, if you want this gold bad enough or this mineral, find your own way. We stopped by one of my relative's cabins. It was really cool to see all the antiques that were in the cabin and 
how they used to live, how they used to survive on the land. I mean the cabins, all of those were great. This is my dad and Uncle Paul's. And it's like, woohoo, <laughs> you know? I actually stepped foot in the same, same footsteps as um, my parents or grandparents. Like it was really, it was a real good feeling. The coal mine. Look at that. It gets you emotional. There was a cabin built right beside it. And when we were exploring that cabin, I got to see my grandpa Tommy's name. It was a really good feeling. It makes this place feel a lot more like home. Like I belong here. <laughs>